Good morning from uh, Tsujong village in Diching, Tibetan Autonomous Region of uh, Northwest Yunnan Province. Uh, just another Tibetan village? Well, no, it actually is a very interesting place. It's not to say that just Tibetan villages are interesting, but this one uh, has a twist. In the uh, 1860s, a group of French missionaries arrived here, bringing Roman Catholicism and uh, a know-how of how to gra grow vines and make wine. Next stop on our journey is the uh, Lantang River, the upper flow of the Mekong River. Uh, it starts in the Qinghai uh, province in China and uh, flows through the northwest Yunnan, the area that we're heading to right now. It's, um, the region is also part of the UNESCO Three Power Rivers uh, World Heritage, Natural Heritage Site. It's also known for its uh, natural and cultural diversity, a place of uh, amazing richness. Let's uh, head there then. On our way towards the Lantang River, the Mekong River, we are passing through the Weishi Lisu minority to aut uh, autonomous region with its uh, spectacular villages on the slopes of the mountains and the rice terraces. Lisu uh, is one of the 26 minorities inhabiting Yunnan province. And this is uh, their homeland. Yunnan <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> and you know, you gamble for cigarettes. Yep. Oh. <laughs> 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 First get some union. Union cigarettes. Oh. Again. <laughs> Come on, come no. on. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. Ah. Ah. When I was a kid in Fo growing up in Poland, we had candies or chewing gums in the shape of cigarettes. It seems like this is still a thing in China. And so we have arrived at our destination, Sejong village at the banks of uh, Lansang Mekong River. We stopped at the local Tibetan guest house. They are proud to have one of, one of the oldest households in uh, the Tsejong village, which is over 150 years. We are going to have a dinner here. So here's the room the standard room, uh, very simple and comfortable with a clean bathroom, a squat toilet and uh, an amazing view outside on the church and the vineyards. 
It's only fifteen dollars per night, approximately. For breakfast, we have some yak butter. Yak butter tea. Yak tea. With some uh, flour. You mix it together. This is a muffin. Yeah. Shinka. Shinka. It's a kind of uh, Tibetan barley with uh, yak butter tea. You mix it up. You have this paste. Traditional Tibetan food. We are now at Tsuzhong Church, a Roman Catholic church, as it's given away by the statue of uh, Holy Mary on the left side. This uh, particular church has been built in 1911 by a group of French missionaries that arrived here through the Tea and Horse Road, which is a southern branch of the Silk Road. Not only did they bring Roman Catholicism to this prevalently Tibetan uh, region, but they brought the skills of uh, growing vines and making wine. This particular type of wine, the rose honey vi vine, has since been lost in France and only uh, preserved in this region of northern Yunnan. Yunnan. The church is an, an amazing eclectic mix of uh, Roman Catholic beliefs and their local traditional uh, beliefs including aspects of uh, Buddhism and uh, Han culture, Taoism. At the top of the tower is what you would expect, a bell. And here we are at the very top of the bell tower of the church. This is the Tsizhong village. It uh, has been rebuilt in the, and expanded in the recent years with some of the construction still under way. And here you can tell, you can see the Lantang River, the Mekong River. And here are the famous rose honey vines in the church vineyards. 
wine made of this variety of vines tastes a little bit like grape juice with alcohol to be honest you cannot hate it though it does the job the local farmers are very proud to only use natural fertilizers in this case the stems of the grapes here's the rose honey vine variety up close and I think that sums up the trip to uh, Sejong village. And I will see you next in the Nujiang River Valley. Peace out. Yeah.